now your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. And good morning. It is 616. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We've got a little bit of a haze out there. You'll see that on the, um, the cameras. A little bit of a milky look to the sky. Again, that smoke still lingering. 60 degrees in the capital city. Calm winds with 78% humidity with a dew point there at 53 degrees. You can see that haze in Minot here off in the distance. 66 with a wind out of the west southwest at 7 and 56% humidity at this hour. Now, we have just a few clouds uh, moving through. We're going to see kind of a partly cloudy day today. Clouds streaming through for some and temperatures this morning starting off kind of cool and crisp. 52 in Rugby at this hour. 55 in Watford City. Medina in at 62. Light and variable winds will stay pretty light and variable into the afternoon. Not seeing these become an issue for us today. They are back in the forecast as being breezy here uh, this week and I'll show you that in just a bit. But highs today back into the upper 80s to low 90s. A little cooler east of 83 with the upper 80s. Um, most of us sitting in the low 90s and with our average highs uh, this time of year mainly in the mid 80s. This isn't too far off from average. It's a little unseasonably warm for some. But again, just some clouds kind of streaming through here. Uh, we are looking at uh, a dry forecast today and into tomorrow. Now, it's not until tomorrow evening that we have those chances for some shower activity here. This is heading into early Tuesday. We'll have kind of a similar story in terms of the sky cover for Tuesday for a lot of us, just kind of partly cloudy conditions. A low to the north of us will drape a cold front through the state late Tuesday into early Wednesday. And there is a chance that you could see a shower or two with that line as it moves through. And and um, I wouldn't expect a lot in the way of moisture, maybe a tenth of an inch. There's not a lot of rain, not a lot of moisture associated with that front. Highs on Tuesday back into the, tw to the, uh, the 90s here. Uh, we are looking at the hottest days this week being on Tuesday and on Wednesday. And keep in mind the smoke. That is, of course, going to remain an issue. It will remain an issue as long as we have uh, wildfires around us. The smoke is just not going to go anywhere anytime soon. You can see here some upper atmospheric smoke staying still pretty heavy. And a lot of this is going to try to make its way to the surface. There is evidence we could see some mixing and some of that coming in at the surface from some of the Can Canadian wildfires here. So something to deal with. We are looking at maybe, you can see this cold front as it moves through late Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe a clearing briefly as as far as the model goes out. But I do believe behind that, it's just going to funnel right back in. Here's the forecast for Dickinson over the next few days. Low 90s for your forecast here. Low to mid 90s in Williston as well. And you can really get a look at that haze off in the distance there on my Williston KX cam. My night, your forecast, 90s this week. And chances for rain begin uh, towards the end of the week and become near daily. Showers and thunderstorms certainly possible. Maybe even some severe weather on Friday evening. That's Minot. And here's Bismarck. Also seeing a lot of 90s here in this forecast. Cooling a little bit for the weekend. Uh, and again, you know, a little breezy there on Wednesday. I think that will be our breeziest day of the week. All right. Well, a little bit of a shot of rain here or there. We can mm -hmm. always use that. Yeah, absolutely. We need it. And uh, this week, I, I said it's nicer this week than we had the whole month of July, yeah. I think. Yeah, 10 was, degree difference. Was it really? Uh, well, yeah, between <laughs> the beginning of last week, yeah. we were talking double, triple digits. Yeah. And now yeah, we're talking crazy. low 90s, and we're going, hey, not so bad. Yeah. It tells you where we've been. Fair yeah. goers <laughs> are going, why couldn't we have pushed the fair back a, <laughs> a week? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Amber. And still to come on Good Day Dakota, a child's first day of school is both exciting and nerve